Hi, I'm Jeff Gamet. In June, Apple is updating its streaming music service with new features like spatial audio and Dolby Atmos. The feature people are really keying in on, though, are the new higher fidelity audio files, including high res audio, because in some cases they won't be able to play these files natively on their Mac or stream them to their AirPods or AirPods Max. There's actually a reason for this. So let's dive in and take a look at what's really going on. First, we need to go over just a little bit of audio terminology. Don't worry, we'll keep this simple. All right, we need an example to work with, so let's use uh, a music CD. Now, music CD is 16-bit, 44.1 kilohertz. Let's break down what that means. First, we have our sample rate. This is the rate that the audio source is actually captured, and that's measured in hertz. So for our CD example, that's the 44.1 kilohertz. The higher the sampling rate, the more audio data you're capturing, therefore potentially the higher quality the final output will be. Next, we have bit depth. Think of that like the resolution of our audio file. In the case of our CD, that's 16 bit. Now, when you raise that number up, say to 24-bit, now you have a higher, if you will, audio resolution for your file. So when you put your, your bit depth and your sample rate together, that tells you what the overall quality of the recording should be. And then we have the bit rate. And this is just the, the speed of data transfer, how fast the, the music is going from your music player to your headphones. And then finally, we have high-res audio. And for this example, high-res audio would be 24-bit, 192 kilohertz. And that also happens to be the high end of Apple's lossless audio offerings. Okay, with that out of the way, now we can talk about why your AirPods and AirPods Max can't play Apple's high-res audio files. We have two problems here. The first one is we have to deal with the, uh, the bit rate. So typical audio over Bluetooth is up to about 320 kilobits per second. Whereas when we're looking at high-res audio, that, uh, that bit rate is 9,216 kilobits per second. This is like trying to shove a sausage through a straw. It's just not going to happen. Okay, so the other problem we have is actually related to the DAC, or Digital to Audio Converter. So this is a chip in your iPhone, also in your Mac, that handles the, uh, the audio file conversion from its digital format to the analog that's going to play through your headphones. The DAC that's built into your iPhone, into your iPad, and into your Mac supports up to 24-bit, 48 kilohertz. So if we're looking at a high-res audio file, 24-bit, 192 kilohertz, that means that the DAC that's built into Apple's products does not support this higher audio level. This is probably something Apple will change at some point and come up with their own DAC that, uh, that does support high-res audio. But for now, that's just a physical limitation that we're going to have to work around. The solution to our problem is barely more than plug and play. What we need to do is get an external DAC that supports sample rates that are higher than 48 kilohertz that will, in essence, act like an external audio card for our computer. Just simply plug it in via USB and then choose that as your audio outsource. And now when you're playing your high-res audio files, you'll be able to actually hear what's in your high-res audio files. For example, I have an Audio Engine D1 connected to my Mac, and it supports up to 192 kilohertz. Now to be clear, you actually can use an external DAC with your iPhone or iPad. What you need to do is get a lightning to USB-A adapter, and then you plug your DAC into that. 
and then it will bypass the DAC that's built into your iPhone or iPad and let your external unit handle all of the audio processing. That way you'll be able to play your, your Apple Hi-Res audio files. But there's another bonus when you do that because the DAC that you're adding in as an external device is probably a higher quality than that little chip that's inside your iPhone or iPad. So even with audio files that have a, a lower sample rate or bit depth, you'll probably get better sound from those as well. Now the catch is you will need to use wired headphones to take advantage of this because if we try and go Bluetooth, we back to that problem where we're trying to pump too much data through too small of a pipe. And now that we've gotten through all of that, I think that Apple's high-res music offerings are going to matter to just a subset of their Apple Music subscribers. For everyone else, they may not be able to hear the differences in audio files or they're using Bluetooth headphones and the compression that you get when you're sending those audio files to Bluetooth headphones will negate a lot of the value that they would have otherwise found anyhow. Also, I think by the time a lot of people are getting to the point where they really want to have the high-res audio files, Apple will have updated their product lines with new DACs built in that will actually support that. Releasing a, a product like hi -res Audio that they don't support natively, that's just not Apple's way. So I think this is a situation where we're getting the audio quality files before we're getting the hardware that supports them, and we'll, we'll be seeing that at some point. So what's the real news that came out of Apple's announcement that relates to the hi -res Audio? Well, the first thing is that... Apple just changed the baseline for subscription music services. Everyone has been charging for their high-res audio options. And now they're having to change and make that free, just part of their regular offerings, because that's what Apple's doing now. We've already seen Amazon make their announcement that their high-res audio is just part of their Amazon Prime music subscription now. The other cool thing that comes out of the high-res music announcement is that come June, the music app will support these files as well. That means that unless you're playing something like, say, a FLAC file, you won't need to have an additional application on your Mac or your iPhone to play the higher quality audio files. If you like this video, give me a like and give me a subscribe. Also, you can find me on Patreon and buy me a coffee. I'm Jay Gamut both places. Thanks for watching.